we're going to end our videos about combinatorics with some videos about probability. Remember that events are sets and outcomes are elements of those sets. When E is an event in the sample space, which is what we're going to be calling the universe omega, the probability that E occurs is the cardinality of E divided by the cardinality of omega. And a really important assumption about omega is that it is finite. It's possible to do probability with infinite sets, but we won't be. Consider a deck of 15 cards. We've got seven green cards labeled one through seven, and we've got eight pink cards labeled three through 10. The event E is the event that a green card is chosen. The event F is a card whose value is at least five is chosen. Remember that means five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. The cardinality of our sample space is 15. The cardinality of the set E is seven because there are seven green cards. And the cardinality of the set F is the number of cards whose values are at least five. And there are nine of those. Therefore, the probability of E is seven over 15 and the probability of f is 9 over 15. Given two events e and f, the conditional probability of e given f is the probability that e occurs given that f must also occur. The probability of e given f is defined to be the cardinality of e intersect f divided by the cardinality of f. With our events and sample space as before, the probability that we draw a green card given that the card's value is at least five, is going to be the number of green cards at least five divided by the number of cards that are at least five. We saw earlier that there are nine cards that are at least five, and if we count, we see there are three green cards whose values are at least five, the green five, the green six, and the green seven. Therefore, the probability of drawing a green card given that the card's value is at least five is three out of nine.